Okay, what's up guys? Um, so I wanna go over the rope climb technique today, specifically in the foothold. Uh, so this video is just all about the foothold, and then I'll make some other videos that kind of progress you eventually to do the whole rope climb. So for those of you that have done rope climbs before, this could just be a refresher for you. Um, but really there's two main styles of rope climbs that we teach in this gym. Um, and the first one, probably most of you that are members um, do this. And again, everything I'm doing is um, assuming that you're right-handed. If you're left-handed, everything's opposite, so keep that in mind. But first and foremost, get yourself on a box, um, roughly the 30-inch side, so your feet dangle. Um, and this way you don't have to hold yourself up while you practice your feet, okay? But the most traditional way of doing it is basically uh, I would take my right foot and I'd bring it up so the rope is actually going uh, across my shin and my knee will be on the outside of the rope and my foot will be on the inside of the rope and I'm actually curling my foot up okay and then I'm gonna take my left foot as I'm leaning back and sweeping underneath and then I'm gonna overlap my big toes this will keep my feet close enough together but also not crisscross because then the rope will just slip out so we want to kind of make that S curve in the rope which creates that lock and allows you to climb the rope easier, okay? So again, that's going to be bringing the leg up, letting the rope come across the front of the shin. My foot's on the inside, my knee's on the outside. I'm sweeping my foot underneath, okay? And I would continue to practice this foothold, okay? To the point where you can basically close your eyes and find the rope and continue to make that. Obviously, the quicker and more comfortable you are with that when you actually climb the rope, it makes a huge difference. You're not hanging on with your arms as much. You're able to grip the rope much better um, and go from there. Now the other option, and this is the way that I eventually switched to. So I originally learned this way. I did it for the longest time. Um, I decided to make the switch because I think it creates a little bit stronger lock in the rope so it doesn't slip out as much. Um, so what you're gonna do now, again, I'm right-handed. I'm gonna actually go up with my left foot this time uh, same concept, right? So my knee's on the outside, my foot's on the inside, I'm curling the foot. I'm gonna wrap around the front side of the rope at the high point to hook my heel in there, okay? And then I'm gonna stomp down, and again, my right big toe is gonna go over my left. So it looks like this. Now notice the rope is now on the back side of my uh, right leg, my right calf, and that's creating a nice lock there, okay? This one's a little bit harder to get into, but it's a much stronger lock, okay? And when you come down, and we'll get that into the next, uh, in the next videos later on, but when you come down, it really is more secure because it's in the center of your legs. It allows you to come down nicely um, without slipping out too much with your feet. So that's why I really liked it, and that's why I made the switch so my descent is much easier, okay? So that's kind of the idea. This is the drill to practice. You should be doing tons and tons of this before you try to jump and try to do a rope climb. Get your feet comfortable, get used to that grip, get used to getting the heel in there. Um, and even once you get this, you could even practice trying to stand up and making sure you have that locked. If you go to stand up and it slips out, you gotta keep practicing that until you get that locked in. So that's super, super important. 